Hello friends, this is Miss Lissa. I am your art teacher and I'm going to show you a few ways that we can use this iPad to talk to each other. Now normally I just get you off of the iPad, get you making art and just coming back on the iPad to show me stuff. But the problem is you've got to know how to use this iPad. And most of you know how to use the Seesaw app. But I want to show you how you use the upload part of the Seesaw app. And so we need to show you how to use the camera. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make a picture of yourself, meaning your name, like I just did. And you are going to then take a picture of it. You're also going to take a picture of your pretty face. And I'm going to show you how you put them together and collage them together into one picture and upload it to Seesaw. Now some of you are familiar with Seesaw and so usually you add a link that goes to something like on YouTube. You can take a video on Seesaw, you can draw on Seesaw, you can take a photo right in Seesaw. But we're going to be using this button, Upload, but you have to have something to upload. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you want to go back to your home screen and then you're going to turn it sideways. So to find the camera app, you're at the home screen. Down there is what people call the belly button, but that's the home button. And there is the camera app right there. It says camera. It's an old fashioned picture of a camera. Mine is also down here because I use it a lot. So it's in my dock. So I can hit that camera button. There it is. And you can see that's the front facing camera. iPads have two cameras and I've already made my name tag now you're going to be making a name tag and you are going to make it out of pencil or pen or markers you could even do collage you can add things and make it pretty if you want to you can use nature you can use so many things but what you're going to do is make sure that you can read your name or i can read your name and then you're going to hit this button right here that is the picture taking button let's go ahead and do that and it takes a picture. Now, I also want to take a picture of myself. And so you have to turn the screen around. And this button right here helps you turn the screen around. So hit that button. And there you can see, there I am. Now, sometimes, well, let me sit back down. Sometimes when people are looking at the bottom at the home screen, you get this weird look and you're not really paying attention. But the camera on the front is up here at the top it's right up there and so you want to look at the top you know where it is because there's a little button and if you put your finger over it goodbye and so you don't want to do that but you want to take some pictures of yourself now you don't have to just take one you can take a few and then when you love you can get far away if you want so do a few of those and you can see right down here is a thumbnail sketch but you can also hit the home button too and then come back up here into photos there they are and then let's go let's scroll there they are all those pictures so there's my name tag there's some pictures you can even press on them and be like oh i don't like that and here's the garbage button so you can delete that photo or if you're like that one's okay you can scroll side to side and make sure there's one that you like because it's going to be your face that i can see while you're not in class with me the reason why you're using the camera app on the iPad instead of just taking a picture right into Seesaw is because sometimes last spring your pictures weren't the best even though your art was really cool. So when you use the camera app you can take a lot of pictures and then you can choose the best one instead of just taking one after another in Seesaw. So once you're back in Seesaw, you're going to come over here to upload and you're going to click on that. And then you're going to come over here to photos and videos. Click on that. That'll open up the photos you just took. And I'm going to click on recents and then scroll until you find either your name tag or your face. Let me do my name tag first. And then you're going to come up here into the checkbox in the circle, in the green circle. So it's a check mark in a green circle. And that'll upload it onto Seesaw. Now, sometimes you would be finished, so you would hit that check mark again. You're not finished though, you need to upload a picture of your face. So come over here to camera, then hit upload right there, then hit recent, pick the one that you want, 
click on that and then come to the green circle with a check mark in it and click that one. Don't click the big one because that means you're all the way done. You're not all the way done yet. So click on the one you want and you can see it puts your picture in the middle. You don't want one on top of the other because I need to read your name. So you can actually put your finger on the picture you wanna move and drag it over. But I, I think that I want more space so I want my name tag to move over. So I have to click on that and right now it's locked. It says unlock to move. So you're gonna come down here to these three dots and click that and unlock it. Now that it's unlocked, I can move it around, I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can twist it on the side, I think I'll make it like that. And then I can do the same with over here, you just have to click on the photograph you wanna do, you can pinch it out, you can make it big, and so you can play around with sizes. And once you like the sizes, then you can be done. But you can also play around with some of these other things. Down here on the bottom, you can click that and you can click the background now the black background or all these colors let me pick pink and i can click on that and you can see it got pink in the background now if i come back to the background and click it again those will go away i could be done i could keep playing with this if i want to if i wanted to i could do this i want to put a shape in there right there there's a shape and i pick this one right here and again, I click on the background and that goes away, but that shape is so teeny weeny itsy bitsy, so I might want to make it bigger. And I do that by pinching it and moving it. And I can make it go all the way around. I can go like this because I miss this and that's my name. So I could do it like that. I could keep going. I could add a text box. I could add a voice, but I think I want to be done for now. Maybe I want this to be a little bit smaller. Maybe I want it to drag down a little bit more. But once I'm all the way done, up here in the corner is that final green circle with a check in it. So when you're all the way done, you're gonna hit that right there and it says it's uploading. And then you can see right here, there it is. I'm just waiting for teacher approval and I am your art teacher so I will approve it. And I might even give you feedback. And so when you could add more if you want, but you could be all the way done. You just need your face and your name tag. Everything else is extra. So friends, you are going to draw your name. You can use collage, paint, markers, crayons, whatever you want. But do your name big so I can read it. You're going to take a picture of yourself. You're going to make sure that you know where the app for camera is, the app for photos is. You're going to put your picture of your face and your name together and then you're going to upload it into Seesaw and I get to see it and I get to talk to you about it. So that's the first one. In the future, we're gonna do more stuff off the computer, but we've gotta learn how to use this iPad first. And I say computer and iPad at the same time because it is kind of the same thing. So it's great to see you and we're gonna keep making art. Bye friends.